<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys. To me, my wife, and Mass Effect. And Mass Effect! Yay! Yay! We are here on Ilos. Oh, I was planning on going in a circle, but that got in the way. Okay. Yeah, sometimes pillars get in the way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm Ty. I'm Corey! I'm so glad you're here. So we are sorry, nearing the eat. end of this game. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. You are going the wrong way. Wait, so we were wrong. already here and and killed Why everything here. Why All of the gates. this way? Um, I, you know, it decides Look sometimes these floaty to thingies. face different directions. Oh, no. So we're here on Ilos. Okay. Saren he... and Sovereign are trying to take over the galaxy. Oh, it's oh, it's bad. Ooh, armature control. You should probably do something like Let that. Let me decrypt this. Okay. So yeah, so we, we've got to take them down, of course. You know. Of course. Hey, guys. Guys. Oh, this Ilos. is a hard decryption, but not. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. I bumped Sorry. into a wall too. Oh, you're so cute. Thanks for making me feel better, babe. Yeah. That's just why you did it, isn't Enemy it? Contact. Totally. Oh, I guess it's yours. So, so oh, it's an it's assault like drone. Something. Don't shoot rockets at us. Don't You're not a rocket rocket. drone, though, so you probably don't have rockets. Corey, by the way, is not a gamer, just to let you know. No. But that's I okay. Is, so he'll take care of these. Uh, Even like though she's not a gamer, drone. she is awesome. <laughs> really <laughs> awesome. You're biased and married to me, so. Well, you know. I don't think that is clouding my judgment one bit. Quick save failed. Makes sense. Why did you try to I, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh. So the F6 button, which moves our uh -huh. our uh, face cam down there, oh. also is mapped to quick save since the oh. controls all reset and I haven't. Switch yeah, that one. So I'll, I'll do that later. Meh. Bye, go. Uh, what we should do now, though, is I should start the timer so I know how long we've been. Okay. There we go. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Good thing he's not a good shot unless he was trying to shoot something behind us. Nope, he's just a bad shot. Good job. I am okay with that. You're ridiculous. Tis true. Right. The thing. Come around the corner. So does that did that armature oh, control? Hi oh hi. hi you no. Legs remind me of frogs. Yeah. Frog legs are tasty. <laughs> they, they are. It's true. I, Story. We have <laughs> did Lyra just say I'm done here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. We have both eaten frog legs at the same time. <laughs> There's this restaurant that we went to near Isn't college. All you can eat frog legs one all night a week. All you can eat frog legs one night a week. So we had to go eat frog legs, of course. And they're actually pretty yummy, I thought. I thought so, too. Yeah. They're like a mix between chicken and fish. Mm. In my opinion. There's an elevator over there. Ah. And then, of course... Yeah, I thought yeah. that, too. I'm not the only one who thought that. Well, I didn't remember... <laughs> We weren't dating at the time, so I didn't really... It's true. <laughs> See, it's, it's hard to remember life before <laughs> Corey and I were dating. Uh, you know. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention as much to you. I think I had a crush on another guy. Uh, okay. Sorry. Well, then. Yeah. We had a crush on one of the other guys there? Shh! <laughs> 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 I don't want any of them to know! <laughs> <laughs> Did I never tell you this? If you were there with us. Oh my that word, night. that's so embarrassing. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> at the frog leg oh eating my word. restaurant. Oh my word, that's I mean, so the restaurant didn't eat frog that's legs. That's so embarrassing. Just so I know, Corey had a crush on you. Oh my word, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> and I had a crush on Corey. I had a crush on you too, but I didn't think you were interested. <laughs> oh my word, I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I doubt he's watching. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, okay, viewers, you'll keep this a secret, won't you? If you know who we're talking about. Don't tell him. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know, he's probably married now, too. He is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You would I think know, all of the you? guys at that table are, ma are married now. <laughs> all of the guys at that table oh, are yeah? married now. Oh, yeah? Cool. Marriage is great. Yeah, it is. I like being married to you. Don't worry. Yay. You're my first choice. Oh, first. good. Oh, there's a dead end over choice. there to the right. I only want you. <laughs> a what over to the right? A dead end. Oh, there is nothing. Wait. <gasps> we are so sneaky. Oh, Geth Destroyer. Well, I, love the bad 
I think it made a noise at us that sounded like an elephant. All right, here's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, we're nope, that's not what him. we're going to do. We're going to hack this guy. <laughs> nope, don't start running towards us already. You're supposed to attack the people behind you. Grr. Ugh, he's so stupid. Hmm. I don't like how stupid they are when they're hacked in this game. Ah, sucker. Flying hacker. Flying hacker. <laughs> well, flying happy. Do we get him? I think we got him. Oh, gosh, they're all flying over here. I can't handle this. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't shake him. You know what? I should just, like, rapid fire. So, I'm curious. Are you guys going to go see Star Wars on opening night? Super curious. Tell Let me. us know in the comments. So why do you want to know? Because I want to go on opening night. <laughs> but we're going to wait for it to so see, it with, see it with his with brother. brother. Which is great. I love his brother. But I really want to see it on opening night. Because <laughs> it's Star Wars. <sighs> it is. It's true. Because, oh, uh, since oh. I've been watching, oh I've rockets. been watching Star Wars since, okay, shh, don't tell. I've been watching Star Wars since I was three. Actually, you can tell. Yeah, why would that not be I good to tell? I don't know. <laughs> but this has been something that's been part of my life. And to see one come, like, a good one come out, not one, two, and three. Those weren't good. But to see <laughs> a good one come out in theaters again, uh, I just, I want to see it in the Oh, there are all of the Geths in here. Hi, Gethsepper. Gethsepper. Rock, rock, rock. I'm gonna punch you. Got oh. him. Whoa. I'm oh. Okay. That didn't do much. Okay. <laughs> Look at our shield there. Yeah, it doesn't even Like, it only good. took out half of a block of shield. Okay. Where are you? Grr. Sapper. <laughs> They're just falling from the sky. There we go. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, there's something over there. We need a Map. Uh, I'm gonna go there first. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn around. Hope we don't mind. Hmm. Oh. oh, there's a crate of security. Oh, how do we get up there? Hmm. Can you hop? Nope. Hop. This isn't. This isn't. What's it called? This isn't Halo. Assassin's Creed. Or okay. Halo. Yeah. This is neither of those things. Oh, this is a door. This probably goes up there, I bet ya. Oh. Maybe? Oh, we don't need our guns here. anymore. Wait, do we? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> Disintegration. <laughs> okay. Well, we're up here now. Well, that's cool. Now we know how to use elevators. Roar! <laughs> now we know how to use elevators. Actually, we've used several elevators before. Yeah, we never used any before. It's, it's, it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. Oh, I we can't even jump? Come I on, want Commander to fall. Shepard. <laughs> Commander Shepard What's is so scared. <laughs> He's so scared. Ah, oh. teleported into the elevator. <laughs> Tallyporting. She's so good at it. <laughs> what do you think of this? Tally. We shouldn't be here. Not us. Oh. Not the go forward. Not Wait, so who did you want to go? I don't know where I'm going. To the left. To the left. <laughs> Every get you own in the box to the left. Yeah. We don't own any get, actually. No. There is a thing. Oh, okay. that's just the door. Oh, this must be another elevator. Good thing we know how to use them now. Yeah, they're not really talkative in elevators. I really always forget which one's which. <laughs> I always think this is Tally. Nope. And that's Liara. This place yeah. still has power. Oh. It must be running off its own generator. Quite this likely. Must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here. How come they were we willing inside? to talk to you? But we not have to me. figure out how to disengage the security uh, lockdown if we ever want to get inside. Or the did bunker. they just start talking? They just started talking on their own. Yeah. In well, elevators, I think. I talk to them. 
well, mine just you know. two seconds after. <laughs> I order you to talk to me. I'm your commanding officer. <laughs> Report. Dang it. Heads up. Oh, okay. Heads up. <laughs> and destroyer. Yeeks. Yeeks and yeeks. There we go. Attack each other. Oh, Geth Prime! Goodness gracious! Geth Prime. Although I like Prime lenses. Wait, shock best. trooper. What's behind there? Another I shock shoot trooper. Ah, I shoot primes. Prime numbers. No, you shoot primes. I literally shoot primes. Oh, hi. I photograph using prime lenses, so I shoot oh, primes. Oh, goodness gracious! None of us have any shield. Oh wow! That's, That's a little nerve-wracking. And we haven't quick saved in a while. Shields, we must. Oh, oh gosh, this guy uh, is a mean off. one. Not good. That is epic and scary and awful. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Ooh. Oh my word! You're horrible. Sorry. I just. <laughs> I concur with that assessment. <laughs> I no, with the fact that he's horrible. Yeah. Oh gosh, destroyer! Oh. You're not as big as the prime, but oh, I'm dead. Oh, gone. that was Tally. I'm <laughs> Tally. Da, 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 She's da. like, come on, Commander. Okay, you know what? Don't you punch my people. Oh, gosh. Oh, the shield's back. Oh, Holy dear. Yara. Oh, oh, dear. I don't know where I can run. Oh. Oh. Tally, use the force. Indeed. Okay. Take him down. I'm doing my best. You got this, babe. Oh, no, you cannot get up. You are not allowed. Um. Oh gosh. Hey, we leveled up. Oh, Liar, you're dead again. Okay. But we killed the Prime, so I'm not feeling too bad, even though that's a destroyer. destroyer. Why are you still here? Explode. <laughs> On your command. There we go. Okay. Liara. Okay. Liara, it's okay. Get back up. Rub some dirt on it. What? <laughs> I imagine oh, wait to hold on. Wait. Armature repair station. Let's not repair armatures. Oh. Whew. Okay. Good thing um, you read signs. Let's look around. You can look. I don't know what I'm Okay. Good this thing is you another read signs armature repair station. Or words, because I just do stuff. I do. Oh, that's an armature. Ah. Uh, I don't want to repair it. No. I made the mistake of repairing it, so uh, Commander Tyler Shepard oh. <laughs> made the mistake of... Of uh, of of that repairing stinks. them, and it was it was it was a bad time. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. You're a smart one. Thanks. <laughs> and thinking, let's see, what's okay. over there? This is oh, we should probably go up there. I bet ya. Hmm. Curious. Oh. Well, that might be danger. Thing. Danger? Danger? Okay. Security panel. We passed by the security then. Well, you know. Security! Okay. Whoa. We are Come, secure. Saren already has a head start. We have Whoa. to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Yeah, we just want Unless to he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That happens. Well, that is a chance we will have to take. Yeah. Hold on. Something's happening. What are you? Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Oh, no. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. So it is probably in Prothean. This what it's recording saying. must be fifty thousand years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. What? Oh, so they uh, they can't. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. Yeah, because warning against the Reaper invasion. The beacon and stuff. Of course, 
between the beacons and the cipher, an <laughs> understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Oh, that's cool. That's handy. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. Oh. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. <laughs> Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. What is the difference between these two? Uh, I don't know how sympathetic you sound. Maybe it said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. <laughs> we should go. Cannot be stopped. <sighs> Cannot be stopped. Oh dear. I think it can. <laughs> yeah, can't be stopped with that attitude. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> I mean, it's a video game. <laughs> why would we? Uh, why would we be here if you can do something? I don't know. You can survive this. Why is there a flag on the map? Who put that there? I probably did. You did. No. <laughs> stop the flag putting. <laughs> I love you. Self. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, hey. Elevator. elevator. Okay. We are good at these. <laughs> and up the elevator we go. We win at elevators. Elevator win. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'm going to put on chapstick on. No. But, but. I have chapstick on. Would you like some chapstick? chapstick? Sorry, we can't let you borrow chapstick. I have a pomegranate chapstick. Oh. Uh, yep. I think I have boring chapstick. This Ooh. place looks familiar. Wait, wait, there was a hard decryption thing right by you. What? You left. Where? Right by the oh. door. Is it? Oh, that just looks. Really this does me. look hard. Wait a minute. This is less hard. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm nervous. laughs> Why am I even? Yeah, Opening these, they're all dumb. Well, we, we will get money. money for selling them. Well, I guess we don't have any money left, so. Oh. True. Wrong way. You can do it. Okay, Where I think we I opened up the gate. gate. So, to the left and the that way. Really? Yeah. Back to oh. the make go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Remember how we landed here? It was pretty epic. I mean, we landed somewhere. I didn't yeah. know where we landed. Ah, it's open. Whoa. All right. Here we go. So sketchy. So sketchy. I have spent my life studying the Protheans. I never I would discover anything like All right. this. Corey this Shepherd's such a daredevil. Might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Adrenaline junkie. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Okay. Imagine what this. secrets it might reveal. Should be I take over? Yeah, you should. Okay. Please Sorry. try to Street remember why we're here. <laughs> Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. <laughs> I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. Oh, I don't I mind. just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after okay. this is done. Yeah. You can be swept up I in the moment. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? Uh -huh. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. Oh. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead as well as anyone inside. Bummer. All of them? There must be hundreds mm. of those pods. What was Saren expecting to yeah. find here? There's nothing left but corpses. I wouldn't be Whoa. so sure. Okay, you know what? None of that. <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> we missed one of the two. Okay. Ah, whoops. What's that? Can't go up there. <laughs> Where are you? No, with that at two, you can't go up there. True. Oh, there you are. Quack. Suckers. Ah. Hmm. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. Poor birthdays. Hmm. Oh. Is that fire over there? I do not know. 
but that is intense. Good thing we're driving. Or is it a force field of some kind? Oh, that's can can we come through? What Please. is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I yeah. do not think Saren is behind this. Oh. The door. Huh? Securing point. Would you like to go through the door, honey? Oh, I'd like to go through the door. Oh, wait, look behind us. Or to the, like, behind the Mako. Oh. We're trapped! But Liara doesn't think it's Saren. Hmm. Curious. Curious indeed. Well, hey guys. Oh, hey, elevator. I think the nope. switch is on the... I wasn't looking, because I was looking at how they weren't coming. <laughs> <laughs> and they were nice. stuck. Oh. Also the Oh wait. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of Why are you looking that way? Oh, sorry. Be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saturn would have triggered it as well. Let's just look around a bit. Oh, maybe not, because what is that? You are not Prothean. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Uh. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Good. Perhaps there is still hope. I mean, I'd like to think so. This yeah. is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Uh... Goodness. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. <laughs> Get to the point. Out of diverse. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. More Reapers. Oh, that's not good. That's much worse than just one. That's horrible. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. Yeah, those things. Oh, yeah. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Yeah, they become dependent Reliance on the Keepers. Reliance on the Keepers yeah. ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's yeah. true nature. Not until the uh, relay is activated and the Reapers so invade. That's so bad. That's so bad. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. Uh -huh. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. Hmm. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel relay is activated. It's supposed to be hard for us to get into dark space and take them out. I mean, there's so much space. <laughs> wouldn't really know where to find them. <laughs> oh, That's man. terrifying. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our galaxy. fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. It's horrible. 
communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Wow. What? I said what? Oh, it wasn't a question, it was just more disbelief. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh. Uh, the left one is asking more. Okay. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Meaning wow. Saren is clearly deluded. <laughs> Through yeah. the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Wow. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, people... their populations enslaved. How did people survive? These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Oh. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they How betrayed them to the machines. Exist? Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. That's horrifying. Yeah. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? Yeah. The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. That's a good point. This guy's a realist. But if they're, if they're, you know, synthetic, they, you, you, you assume they must have been created. I don't know. What is happening? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Hmm. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, Ooh. the hub of the relay network. Goodness. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Huh. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. Oh, man. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. Mm -hmm. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I mean, better to save some than lose all of them.
course, that should be my... Why didn't uh, he just wake them up? Um... I don't know if th- there was anything they could do. Besides just starve? Yeah. Oh, man. Because, yeah, I'm sure they would... Because they, they put them into cryosleep to conserve energy, so I'm sure they would have right. yeah, used up way more resources right. awake. Yeah. He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Hmm. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved so key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. If I were a non-essential personnel, I'd be okay when with When the that. researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Wow. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Mm-hmm. The Keepers? Really? Can't, are both of them gonna know more? Uh, no, the one on the left is asking for more detail. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the conduit? The conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Sweet. Again with the left, I can no more. Mm -hmm. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. I would imagine. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Yeeps. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Jakes. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. <laughs> Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. Alright. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. Oh, nice. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Oh, my word. That's intimidating. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? (laughs) I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Great. (sighs) If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Makes sense. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. Goodness gracious. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Uh, Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. Well, that's comforting. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? 
What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Handy. Yeah. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. Mm. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. You could have yeah. exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. That is why Saren could We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Yeah. Let's hope not. <laughs> So, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. Interesting. <laughs> when the Protheans yeah. altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. That explains the Geth house. Sovereign must Why have realized Sovereign's organic races were difficult to control. Geth, yeah. ah. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Intriguing. Indeed. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. But they're heroes. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Whew, where have we got our work cut out for us? I don't want to say goodbye to him. Uh, yeah, he's so cool. He's my friend. You're great, Vigil. I like him. Oh. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. But there's still a galaxy to save. I... I don't know. What happens if we talk to him more? I... Don't know. Do we really alter things? Because we've been looking in corners and all these Yeah, things. we haven't really been in too much of a hurry. <laughs> Does it do anything? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't actually remember making this choice. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm really curious. Yeah, so in, in reality, I doubt it would be like... Um, I, mean, I, I doubt it would threaten the outcome of the game, but I'm... Um, but like if I were in that situation in reality, yeah, in reality, it wouldn't. But, but I'm sure we would. But yeah, there's the other side of that argument is, you know, um, we save the day. We just took out one Reaper. Um, maybe this knowledge would, would help us. Should we at least look into it? Uh, yeah, it, it's probably worth a it look at least. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. 
My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. I mean, that's the important part. Well, we already asked all that. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was... Oh, just a... Just a way to... If So if, if people didn't investigate, this uh, was probably just a prompt to... To let them know that... You, you, need to you do should so. probably, like, find out more. <laughs> I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did you I got get... a renegade plus two? Sweet. Okay, thing is though, we Please should... Stop. We really yeah, should stop. We... we are so over. This episode is gone. Way over. Way Sorry. over. But that's okay because we... You know, this was very important to hear. Alright. But Bye guys. Wow, that was pretty intense that was so intense i'm so nervous <laughs> uh. yeah so yeah we, we yeah we definitely have our have our work cut out for us here as we've already mentioned mm. we need to make it to the conduit uh, so we can follow saren through it which is going to take us to the citadel the place that we th you know thought we yeah. were escaping from <laughs> Hopefully oh the irony us. <laughs> yeah um but man then take the Act activate the Citadel Control Center and oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. So we are going to do that. We are going to do that next week on Monday. Monday. So you don't want to miss oh. this. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just just so you make sure you catch it. But wow. Wow. We'll hang up now so you can Yeah. Thanks for joining us for this uh, we'll Yeah, see. for this the 83rd episode. Skip forward until Monday. Yeah. And if it's already Monday by then, you can just like yeah, just okay. just skip ahead to the next episode now. Yeah. Ah. Wow! Bye guys. Isn't this game fun? It is. Yeah. Ah. Okay, I think I will. I need to level up really quick. Okay, you should um, do that. But yeah, so oh, just if one. you want to skip to the next episode now, you're more than welcome. But if you want to see where I level up, renegade. Yeah, you got two renegade points on with that. I don't even know where. I was probably mentioning that. Or agreeing that that shutting mm -hmm. down some of the stasis pods was necessary. Yeah. Which yeah, because if they if he hadn't, then you know the scientists wouldn't have. Yeah, wouldn't have been able. Wouldn't to have see figured this off. out, and so there would be no hope. Then everybody would be gone. Everybody yeah. Would be dead. Yeah. Okay, that there. Let's get uh this here. And uh, one of those We're there. We're so stronger than when we started. <laughs> we sure are. Okay. Man. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Stay classy.